Uh, today I'm going to be giving you a quick tutorial um, about the unsubscriber functionality included in the all-in-one GDPR plugin. Article 17 of the GDPR, uh, Rights Erasure, states that the data subject shall have the right to obtain from the controller the erasure of personal data concerning him or her without undue delay. So to make this as easy as possible for both you, the data controller, and your customers, the data subjects, we've built the unsubscriber form. This is what the form looks like on the front end. This is what it would like to your users. There's a field for their email address, and they can also check any additional uh, services that they uh, that you've integrated with the plugin. Uh, for, for example, Mailchimp. And you can put this anywhere on your WordPress site by using the um, under, unsubscribe underscore form shortcode. This has got any page uh, on blog posts, on, on content pages, wherever. So let's test this out now by so the username is going to be um, Anthony Bird, and the email is going to be um, unsub at gmail.com, and it's going to be Anthony Bird, no website, password for default. Excellent. So we've got this new user here called Anthony Bird um, with a user ID of five. Now let's go to our MailChimp list and add that email address as a new subscriber to um, this generic MailChimp list. And if we go to MailChimp and we just refresh that list, yeah, you can see we've got unsub.gmail.com is, uh, is in this MailChimp list. Now to integrate MailChimp with the plugin, it's very simple. All you have to do is copy your API token into the plugin. So I'm going to try to get your API token. First, go to your account settings, and then go to extras and API keys. Then copy this API key here, and then paste it under integrations, MailChimp API token. And I've obviously already done mine here. So now let's test this by going, well, let's open up a new incognito tab and go to a localhost 8000 forward slash unsubscribe. And now let's add this email address, unsub at gmail.com. And I also want to unsubscribe that user from our MailChimp list and hit to unsubscribe. Now it's redirecting me back to the homepage, as you can see here. That means it's probably worked. And if we refresh, you can see it has worked here. We've got this new user in our list of users that need to be unsubscribed. Now, if we go back to our users list uh, here, you can see that nothing's actually changed the user at this point. We only change the data after an admin has pressed the unsubscribe user button. So now let's look at the, data, the WordPress database itself here. We can see that uh, user ID 1 is the um, admin, and user ID 5 is that new user we've just created called Anthony Bird. Let's add some arbitrary bits of data here. Let's add a field named IP and give it a generic IP address. Okay. And let's add another field here, which is user ID 5, and let's call this postcode. And we'll actually add a value, and this will be so. We have these two arbitrary values that I just added here. They're not related to the call. There's no plugins that it's related to. They're just two generic uh, bits of meta I've added to the user meta table. So when we're in to unsubscribe the user, and we're happy that the user does not need to be kept anymore, and that we want to actually action the unsubscribe request we just need to click the unsubscribe user button here. And now that user has been removed from that list, and let's have a look at the users page here. Now, what was Anthony Bird has now been deleted and just replaced him with deleted user. Uh, the reason why we don't actually remove the user um, is because if we just deleted uh, users arbitrarily, it could affect other things like uh, WordPress posts, if you're using forum plugins, uh, it might break links and stuff like that. So in order to keep the database integrity, we don't actually delete the user. 
we just delete the sensitive information. Some of the sensitive information is obvious, we can just delete it out of the normal relational tables, like we can delete the email out of the email, uh, email column from the database, from the WordPress users database. But as we saw here, sometimes plugins make, uh, you know, make user meta, which contains sensitive information, but we haven't actually told the data, that we haven't told uh, all-in-one GDPR about this. All-in-one GDPR has an automated database crawler, which can find sensitive information um, based on the email address it's given. So if we refresh this, we can see here that it's deleted the obvious uh, bits of um, sensitive information that's generated by the core, things like first name, last name. But also down here, these arbitrary fields, it detected that they were IP addresses and postcodes using regex, and it actually changed these to deleted. So it's deleted even additional, even additional uh, user meta. Now this would also work as well if you're using WooCommerce or if you're using things like BB Press or BuddyPress. It will actually delete additional uh, sensor data that those plugins create as well. And now let's have a look in Mailchimp to see if our user's been deleted from here. If we go back to our uh, list, we'll refresh again to make sure. We can see that that user's also been deleted from here as well. This means that we haven't had to manually uh, go and delete the user ourselves in Mailchimp. That is fully automated and uh, fully integrated so that once a user has um, press the unsubscribe button, we can be very confident that all the sensitive personal data has been removed, thus keeping us on the right side of the law.